All coins, all coins. I've been prepared for this. Can't tell me nothing. And I believe crypto will play that type of role as a flight to quality. We're hearing from clients around the world. Bitcoin, all coins, all coins. I've been prepared for this. And I believe crypto will play that type of role. Bitcoin, bump, all coins, bump. We are hearing from clients around the world. Can't nobody tell me nothing. But depending on how you think about it, and I believe crypto will play that type of role as a. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Bitcoin, bump. We are hearing from clients around the world. You guys ready to jump in this stream? We had that market fully shake people out. I hope nobody here got shaken out. Throw a one in chat if you're ready to dive into these charts. I got some great things to share with each and every one of you right now. We got, oh, hold on. I got a little bit of a skip there. Uh, shout out to Alexander G for the five super chats. Uh, sorry, for the five memberships. Big love there. If you guys are ready to get this going, I want to see every single person that's in the room right now Throw something in the live chat, whether it's a one, whether it's an emoji. I don't care what it is. I want to see every single one of you participating. We're about to start school. We're about to break down what's going down on these charts and see where these opportunities lie because we got some things that look like they could be setting up for some big breaks. So let's absolutely get it. Everybody, if you haven't yet, hit that like button. What's up, everybody? Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Welcome to the BitLab Academy stream. We got to dive right on into it today. Price action came down, and yes, it tapped, like Carl from the Moon would say, exactly where I predicted. This is where this is this line here has been on this chart for about a week or so, I believe. And I was talking about this as soon as it broke out, talking about you know the price action coming up to the sixty-eight thousand dollar mark. And, uh, you know, basically sussing out the opportunities. If it exploded up to this side or if it pulled back down to this side. So we were prepared. If you were on this channel, you were prepared. And look at what this price action did. M formation gave us a, the, the tail uh, that the indication was we we're likely going to be having a bearish attempt in the market. And this is exactly what we got. We had the price action come directly down, wick down. This is on the one hour time frame. We come down here to, let's say, the three minute. I just want to point out to this how quickly this moves. This is a three-minute chart. So we're seeing on three-minute candles that look at this, just kind of just fell down very quickly down into this target box that we had already listed on this chart. So what does this mean? Could this mean that now that we've sussed this out, now we're going to fulfill the prophecy of further upside and get up here into the $78,000 mark? Well, we're going to break that down today. I hope every single one of you, as you roll in, Hit that like button. You hit that subscribe button, especially right when you get here. It lets YouTube know you like this crypto content. And remember, YouTube is a mainstream media outlet now. Everybody uses YouTube. So if you are enjoying this type of content, whether or not you like me or not, you just like crypto, hit that like button. It definitely does help the algorithm and uh, push crypto forward. We got some things to talk about today, though. We got to talk about Bitcoin. We got to talk about Ethereum breaking up to uh, past $3,800, up to $3,900. And some key altcoins. If we look at this right here, this is my watch list. Uh, if we come, there we go. This is my watch list. And I have this basically the last 24 hours. And look at the ones that are at the top. Okay, ribbons up here. This is one of those coins I was holding, but I did dump just because I didn't have enough bandwidth and capital to hold everything in my wallet. But look at this. Aerodrome, this is one of those coins that we've called out. Fetch is one of those coins we've called out. Pal. We called out OPSEC, we called out in the Discord. Uh, Chlor, we called out in the Discord. Render, Near, ORNJ, these are all the top performers. And look at this. How many of these are AI? Fetch, PAL, uh, OPSEC somewhat, uh, but Chlor, uh, Render. Yes, it's graphics processing, but what does AI need? It needs those graphics processing models in order to do it. And so what do we see here? We see all these AI plays pushing to the upside. Now, what I really want to point out here we're going to get back over into uh, uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum in a moment. But I wanted to point out something that I just, I, I just wanted to see uh, as an experiment how these AI coins are performing in correlation with NVIDIA. So this is a one-day chart. This is fetch.ai. We can see we had a little bit of a sell-off here. This, this 
right here is fetched at AI. This orange line is NVIDIA. So we can see them on a percentage base, you know, the correlation trend up, trend down. We can see that this, this was kind of pushing up. We get an explosive rally in, in Fetch. Now, remember, Fetch has a much smaller market cap than NVIDIA. So we may have a larger move to the upside and a larger move to the downside on these. But generally, the trends are going to be very similar. In this case, NVIDIA pushes up and, you know, trade sideways, Fetch sideways. And then all this time where we had a positive divergence here, where we had a po uh, basically more bullish price behavior on NVIDIA, while Fetch was somewhat suffering here uh, in this correlation uh, comparison. But what do we finally ultimately get? We get this large move to the upside and then a little bit of a sell-off. But then NVIDIA starts running and look at this, Fetch follows it up into the right. And so there's some interesting things going on here. We also see the same thing in Render. Look at how strong this correlation is on NVIDIA to Render. So this is one of those things I'm gonna be looking at a little bit more often is because we can, we can utilize we, it's, it's, uh, we can use these other assets that are especially larger market cap, but also capture a larger portion of the narrative as an analog, as a tool to give us direction as to what the broader market is thinking about these things. And these, this sort of narrative on one, this larger asset, this larger niche uh, can basically spill over into these smaller assets that we're buying, uh, holding, trading, et cetera. Now, we got to talk about some things because the market absolutely shook people to the core yesterday if they weren't paying attention. So if we come back over to the coin market cap here, <coughs> excuse me, I just want to point out, let's go in this order right here. We got Bitcoin still at $1.3 trillion. Ethereum now pushing up near that half a trillion mark, $455 billion. The next biggest one, I just want to reemphasize this because it shocks people sometimes. This is how much bigger Ethereum is than the next biggest one, BNB. Ethereum has half a trillion, almost 500 billion, whereas the next biggest one is BNB with only 62 billion, and then it gets collectively smaller and smaller on an exponential basis as it goes down. So we want to pay attention to this, and we can use these larger assets as an analog in terms of direction for what the broader market's going to do, which is why even if you're trading altcoins, we're going to look to Bitcoin. And similarly, what we just showed right here, and welcome to everybody that just tuned in, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, join us here in the family. This is very similar to what we're looking at here when we're looking at Render or when we're looking at Fetch.ai. The orange line that we have here is the comparison of NVIDIA. Now, NVIDIA is going, of course, it's not AI. NVIDIA is a chipset. AI is going to run on chipsets and graphics processing, which is why we look at Render, which is why we look at AGIX, and we look at Fetch.ai, and we look at even the machine algorithmic AI learning on GRT, which is tied to the AR narrative, AI narrative, or Chlor.ai. But we can use this analog looking at NVIDIA as a comparison. And in order to get a comparison like this, just so you all know, if you are trading uh, or using TradingView, whatever asset you have, you can come up here and press this plus symbol right here, and we can even compare these. So we have Fetch, we have NVIDIA in orange. Let's add AGIX, and we can see the comparisons and scale of what is going on here. So this is AGIX here. So now we have comparisons, and if you want to delete them, you can just delete right here. But I think this is going to be one of those narratives. This It's going to really shift the paradigm of people's understanding of where these markets are going. NVIDIA and AI collectively between the two of them the need for compute processing for Bitcoin mining, but also machine learning, but then also this exponential idea about where the market's going with AI. It is changing the shape of the stock market, let alone opening the doorways for potential investment and speculative, just riding that absolute bull to freedom land of capital in your bank account if you can pick the right assets and have a portfolio that gets you exposure to these types of things. So when we come back over here and we look at the market and we realize bitcoin is in such a wonderful spot ethereum is in such a wonderful spot tap you know pushing up near that four thousand dollar mark we have all these other coins that we could put it as a basket of the assets that we have in, in this case this is uh the altcoin portfolio that i've been sharing with you all that i've been stacking into since february 7th when i started this portfolio we can see this has been zero trades no trades there's been zero trades on this there's been a purchase at a point based on the, the macro uh, altcoin market cycle picture of uh, sh showing that we are in a consolidation that happens in all previous cycles 
that then leads to this huge expansion and profits to the upside. So I've done no trades. I've only bought starting. I bought most of these all on February 7th. Uh, let me uh, come back over here. Portfolio tracker. Boom. Now look at this. No, no trading. We're up 46% already on Ethereum. We're up 45% on Cardano, 71% on Near. 15% on Avalanche, only 5% on Chainlink. So Chainlink hadn't started to run yet because it, it ran first. This does not mean I jump out of Chainlink because Near's running. Let me go get more Near. No. If you believe in Chainlink, and man, this hasn't run yet, maybe this is giving you more opportunity to stack into it. We have Render up almost 70%. The Graph over 76. Fetch.ai, basically right under 100%. SEI only 9%. Quant up only 13%. There's more on here. Aerodrome up 111%. CeeLo up 25%. Stacks is down because we just most we just bought these two last. These are the last two we added, I think, last weekend. Uh, down 2% on Matic. I'm okay. I'm not going to have a heart attack or move out of it. Patience, baby. And then we see the uh, last one, Ondo, uh, up 15%. So, and I'm this, this portfolio, and I'm going to be adding more trading content here and again uh, soon. But I wanted to show everybody, not everybody wants to get in and trade every single day. You can buy based on a position of where we're at in the market cycle and ride these damn portfolios to freedom. The only way you can do that, though, let me come here. You can buy based on a macro position like I'm doing here in my altcoin portfolio, sharing with you here on the BitLab and ride it into incredible profits. But the only mechanism that you need to make sure you master in order to do that, to see 20x, 30x, 50x, is you got to have patience. 99% of people in this market fail because they forget that component, that tool, that resource, and it's in you. It's in your head. It's in your heart. It's in your strategy or if it's not in your strategy, your money is going to be in somebody else's account. So follow us for more so you know, so you can learn how to absolutely master this market and really cultivate profits here to change your life. Now, we're about to jump in and do a bunch of TA and talk about what is going on in this market because we have some huge moves that have happened in the last couple of days. If you haven't yet, make sure you give me a follow right here at Kellum, uh, Kelly Kellum, K-E-L-L-Y, K-E-L-L-A-M. There's a lot of scammer accounts out there. And before we go any further, uh, also make sure you're following here at Academy BitLab. Uh, remember, we do giveaways. We randomly pick giveaways throughout the week now. For those who hit this retweet and like button, we randomly draw names from those people supporting and participating in the love on this channel. Now, we got to talk about some things. Why did the thing happen yesterday? I'm sure you've seen it all on all the, all the other YouTubes and whatnot. Uh, for crypto, but we got to talk about this. I'd like to see uh, essentially what we're seeing here. Ibit, which is BlackRock, took in a record smashing almost $800 million yesterday. Markets chopping around. What do we see? Huge record inflows into the ETF. This is showing us that the dynamic and the paradigms and the market cycles that we've been trying to historically analyze by, it's freaking different now. We have players that are clamoring to get involved and large in part, a lot of these people involved in these ETFs, especially these BlackRock and Fidelity ETFs is going to be large money players and institutional uh, uh, organizations that were not able to or not comfortable with or had not yet had the capacity to get Bitcoin on their balance sheets because they didn't want to through the traditional means. And now we're seeing this, this record inflows, you know, tens of billions of dollars have already come into this market, okay? And the, the ETF side of it, which is just sucking up the supply that's available, we haven't even had the having yet. That's why when we look at this market, that's why when we look at this, uh, we see this having cycle. Let me actually, do I have it right over here somewhere? It is somewhere. I got some good stuff to share with you today, Jay. Uh I deleted it, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's where we see ourselves in this having cycle. We're saying, man, we've never had the sell. We've never not had a sell off before, but we've also never had these capital avenues of just absolute <laughs> bananas ness just scooping up this Bitcoin. Okay, so we had a sell off yesterday. Well, yeah, it sucks. It's so bad. Shout out to Falco gifting one BitLab Academy membership. This is my birthday week, so let's make this week fantastic. You know what? The best birthday gift for every single one of you here right now would be is if every if we could get the same number of likes on this video as we have viewers right now. We have 254 viewers. If we can get the same number of likes as we have viewers, 
by the end of the stream, I will gift $100 of my own money on tomorrow's stream. Uh, maybe we'll do it at the very end of the stream, but let's get it up. Uh, let, let, let's everybody hit that like button. Join us here in the family. And by the way, if this is your first time, I can guarantee you it's not going to be your only time. My name is Kelly Kellum. We're about to get into what's going on in this market. Make sure that you can stay ahead of what the hell's going on. Now, coming back over here, fear and greed index came down. I talked about this on the Discover Crypto Show. Note something here. Extreme greed. This is when everybody's so excited. It's also the opportunity for you to take profits if you are trading, not investing long term. But you have fewer days to take profits than you do to, uh, you have a much more time to buy when everybody's, you know, you want that life-changing wealth? Look at the damn data in the chart. Stop looking at the price saying it could go down to 12. It could go to the, the price doesn't freaking matter. The price is absolutely irrelevant when you are trading and investing. The price is only one data point. You want to look at all the other data points. You want to look at on-chain data or total users. Is our users increasing? What's the activity? All this stuff. And if you don't know where to find it, you tune in here to the BitLab show. You join BitLabAcademy.com and you learn how to read these different metrics or watch here. And you look at the data that is indicating a shift is coming before it does. Warren Buffett, although he's not a fan of Bitcoin, he is one of the best investors of our time. And he says, you buy when there's blood in the streets. And the funny thing is, you have more time to buy than you do to sell. Because why? The selling comes when the market decides to switch, when the market becomes top heavy with people that do not have the capacity to be patient, the, 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 to, to sustain volatility. And we get those pushes just a little bit further to the upside. These market makers, big money pushing it just beyond getting people committed, committing these long positions to then reverse on them and absolutely eat their lunch. <coughs> so what we're seeing here, is if we come where we're at right now, this was a 90 yesterday. We had a very brief moment in extreme greed, and we had that, obviously, the price action moved very quickly against us. What this did was this set us up for success. It might feel frustrating, but that, that, that move yesterday, that move very quickly to the upside, boom, right in here. You know, we took out the all-time high. This is the first attempt that came down. Second attempt, oh, the computer shut off. That's why it crashed. Did it? It's also a very known level that a lot of people, you know, were getting, uh, some people got in at the very top all the way back uh, in this market, you know, many years. I don't want to go all the way back. It's a one-hour chart. Uh, all the way back, boom. All the way back here in November of 2021. Yes, there are people that bought in this region anywhere in here that rode this all the way down and had this come all the way back up and they go, okay, I'm done with this ride and people take their money out of the market. You have to remember, 99% of the people in this market do not have the benefit of what you have right now. Let me say this again. 99%, most people in this market are gonna fail. 99% of the people in this market do not have the curiosity that you have. You're watching this video. You're watching these types of videos. Most people in this market do not understand the Bitcoin halving cycle, what's going on with the, the four-year cycle of these huge bullish impulses following the halving, and then the bearish cycle that comes down. It's a, it, it is a condition, it is a function that actually makes Bitcoin incredible to participate in. But some people buy a top of a market cycle not knowing that it's at that top of the market cycle, and then ride it all the way down and have the price come back up to that previous all-time high only to take profits because they're done with the ride. It's because they don't see the map of what is laid out in front of them. But all of you do, you understand this, you're here. And if you want to know more, follow me, follow this channel for more so we can keep you in the know about how and when to navigate this market in the most effective way. Because that's what this is all about. It's navigating the market, your emotions, and other people's emotions. That's how you win this market. So with that being said, coming back to what's going on in this market. Yes, there was some profit taking that happened yesterday. And uh, okay, maybe it was a little bit of the outage on Facebook and all that, but let's just look at the charts because we can't know when those black swan type of things happen that affect the market. Well, we had the price action come and shoot rocket, boom, down right into this level. I didn't draw this today. This is a chart that I've had drawn for about a week with this potential drop from this level down to 59,000. Why is the base of this zone? 
We also had this little tick right in here. We've had this drawn. You can go back. You can go on my Twitter. Actually, I showed it. Boom. Come right over here. Scroll down. Uh, I shared it somewhere here. Right here. So this is a chart. So this is from uh, yesterday's show. This is from two day, two or three days ago. This is me. Sh this I've been. This is where the price was. And I was talking about it reaching this level and come back down. I'm trying to share you guys the goods so you can navigate this market. And also, at some point, maybe even stop watching me because you got all the tools. You got all the resources. And so what we're doing now, price action has come down into this, flush this out, and this is bullish. Why is this bullish? Because on this candle, we can see, let's actually go to a four-hour candle. We can see the bull bears took this all the way down here. And before this candle could close, the bull said, absolutely not sucker. And they put the bears back in the pen. And then we start seeing the price action move back up. Now we do have to have some caution here. This does not mean just because this happened here, that it's going to go up, up and away. We're going to plan for both directions. We have to contend with the fact that we have a Fibonacci from this level down here. And we're sitting right here. Luckily, look, we sliced right through the golden pocket. That's bullish. If it was bearish, uh, or ultimately more bearish than bullish in this move, this likely would have rejected at the zone and come back down. This pushed up into what Army Piper, shout out if you're in chat, I don't know if you are, Army Piper calls it the platinum pocket, the 786. But things are leaning more bullish, so we can still, we can still have a retrace up to the zone, which is why we slice through this golden pocket and still come down and retrace and, and still continue to the downside. But the thing about it is we still have positive money flow. We have the VWAP here on the bottom, this yellow line uh, that shows that we came back into the zero line and the bulls and the bears are trying to decide, are we ready to go right now? Because big money players play that spread of the price action when it's getting away from the volume weighted average price, meaning they can play the, they can play the emotions of the traders most effectively when you have a spread positive, when you have the, the, the coin, the, the price action on the chart the price is much above that VWAP, they can play the spread to short it and get it back to that zero line. If it's very bullish, they buy again and keep playing that spread back and forth. It's very similar to when we talk with Josh, and Josh calls it out very, very uh, a lot on here, that windshield wiper method of having the liquidity flush out to the upside and then to the downside and to the upside. We have a whole course, a whole lesson that we recorded on that uh, last week. We're putting in the BitLab Academy uh, course section but this is what the markets do. They flush liquidity out both ways. And this is, I mean, as bullish as all things have been, this is something that needed to happen, this washout to the upside and the downside. And we, talking about this, we, this is exactly what happened. We can see the open interest, this leverage, people that are betting too heavy, basically, got, basically this, this got cleared out. With this drop, we saw a hundred, you know, a billion dollars uh, in liquidations, I believe it was a little over a billion dollars in liquidations in the crypto market, meaning people were getting too excited. They were trying to catch the move right at 69,000. Oh, it's about to shoot straight to 100. People get excited with those green candles, which is the opposite of what you should do. When the market is bullish, people get wrecked when the market is bullish because they, they become too bullish in the wrong places. When you see a lot of green candles, Pushing up. You don't just jump in to ride the ride. If you're on a daily chart and you see green candles, get down to the four hour or the two hour or one hour chart and look for those pullbacks along the way and you jump in at a pullback. You jump in in the red. You jump in when it feels counter to what's going on when that is the dominant trend that you're trading. When you see a huge green candle, you don't go, oh, I don't want to miss this. You are donating your money to the game when you do that. That's why we saw a billion dollars liquidated over the last 24 hours from this big movement. Understand the trend you're in and look for opportunities within that trend. So the opposite color candles of the trend that you're in are the ones that provide the opportunity. And that is the secret to trading uh, uh, in this market. That's trading any market, really. Don't jump in on the trend in that direction that it's going. You want to find the opportunities by the market trying to shake people out. And on the shakeout, that's your entry. So we got to jump back into these charts because I, as I said, this is a little bit of a shorter show today. Uh, but again, dude, we got 291 people in here. If you have not hit that like button and join the family here, we have such a wonderful community. Shout out to everybody that's here in the chat as well. Shout out to all the members 
I want to see every member that's in here. Drop some emojis in here. Let's drop how you feeling. Uh, let me let me see your emojis here in the live chat. Big love to everybody that's here. So this is healthy. This clears out the open interest so we have more spot friendly. People derive like the actual buying and selling, not leveraged position, which is borrowed money, uh, making exponential uh, marks in those order books. Okay, this is actual uh, healthy. This is a healthy correction that, that this happened. Now, we also see on the macro scale, this is a two month chart, Bollinger Bands from TechDev. Every time we've come down, we see that we've been testing above this 20 moving average. That's what the line in the Bollinger Bands is. It's always a 20 moving average. Once we basically start breaking up above this range, see, we come up here and it tests the, the, the top side. We get this yellow line. This is also where the Bollinger Band width bottoms out and starts to trend up. Bottoms out, starts to trend up. Bottoms out, starts to trend up. This is a two month chart. So back here is 2015, 2016, 2017 into 2018, right? 2020, 21, uh, sorry, 2021. And this is that market cycle top. This is the COVID crash and then up. But what we're seeing is every time we have this Bollinger Band width round out and start going into expansion phase again, this is indicating that every single time we've seen this previously is when the, the real strong part of the parabola really starts to get exciting. So do not get chopped out in this market because we had a 13% pullback. Are you out of your damn mind? This is the opportunity of a lifetime. How could we let ourselves get so affected by emotions on a smaller time frame chart? Let's take advantage of the opportunity before us. And sometimes that's sitting on the sidelines. Now, we also see right here, observing the distribution trend in long-term holders over the past two days, over 4,000 Bitcoin were consumed each across the six month to five year cohort over two days, a similar trend to the end of February about a week ago. So we're seeing a lot of it, look at this, this accumulation in this, in this drop down right here, consuming it, getting, getting those coins. It's wonderful. Now we have liquidations both above and below us on this, I think it's a 12 hour chart here on the high block. So the price action can still go down there and test that 59 and even go down to 53. But remember price action down right now, is the best opportunity you're ever going to get for the history of Bitcoin. From here forward, any price below the, today's current price is maybe the last opportunity you get it at that price. So let's not be upset if price drops. Let's take advantage of it. Now, coming back over, uh, so we also have this. Remember, I talked about that 13% down. That's this right here. The next move is potentially a 20% move up. This is based on this diamond continuation pattern. Well, when we look at my chart, this is before all this played out. I had this metric already drawn, this 13% move down, 14% move down. Of course, we recovered it. But then the next move from here is another 15% move up, which is the larger target of this right here. We take this target pole, boom, measure this out. And that's also in line with this, let alone talking about this, this uh, diamond continuation pattern that we have right here. But the question is going to be what happens with this VWAP in the short term over the next two or three days. So... I'm preparing for e either eventuality. We're seeing just nonstop buying. And this is also, remember, there's a positive. Markets were scary. Prices dropped. You want to jump out. You don't know what to do. Consider the fact that we have all these new capital inroads and prices at essentially an all-time high level. And we've never been at this all-time high level this early in the market cycle. And at the same time, we have Larry Fink and Fidelity and, and Kathy Wood and all this news media that's positive around Bitcoin and the stamp of approvals from all these major finance players in the market and institutions are getting involved. And because we're at this level, we have this incredible positive feedback loop going on right now that is bearish as we want to maybe be if you're a super bear, if you're a capo, and we see that we could potentially have a 40% pullback. Well, I ask... Have we ever had these capital inroads before? Have we ever been at all-time highs? Which is where the Bitcoin media marketing machine really kicks on because everybody's talking about it. It's on every news uh, channel. It's on every finance talking point. It's in the zeitgeist of every aspect of investments and trading as well as spilling out into the regular world right now. So I'm looking if we do get any dip at all. It is opportunity. And the question is, do you have the courage to take advantage of opportunity and stop crying about a two, three, or even 10% pullback? That's not scary. That is exciting because that means you may have one more opportunity to get in at that price. So you got to follow for more if you want to figure out how to do that. Absolutely. Now, 
We got a couple more things we're going to talk about before I have to wrap out because I have to run over to, um, uh, I have to run over to uh, another space to hop into. But altcoins, altcoins are setting up. If you hold any altcoins whatsoever, let me know in the chat right now or comment down below. What are your three biggest holdings in your portfolio? Throw it in the live chat right now. Let's see. Some people maybe ETH. Some people maybe all mid caps. Some people maybe only meme coins. I recommend that it's not only meme coins. But I know I'm I'm very alt heavy. I have you know my long term held Bitcoin. But this is showing the historical trend. Look at this back here, 2015, 2018. We have this this rounding bottom, then a falling this breakout and then falling wedge. Rounding bottom, breakout, falling wedge. I mean, look at this expansion here. Can you imagine what's going to happen? I can't imagine that this is going to go from, you know, you know, one or two, you know, two, you know, one and a half trillion to two trillion. No, this is, I, I would expect that the altcoin market cap is likely going to go somewhere in the, somewhere in the, you know, four to six trillion market range uh, for the, for the altcoin market. Now, this is setting up for such exciting uh, you know, price action in the market. Now, when we look at a, a cart, uh, Ethereum, Ethereum has the ETH ETF on the horizon. We have Coinbase in court right now, uh, or basically challenging the court, trying to get their cases dismissed because it's absolute nonsense what the SEC is doing. And if that were to happen, that would absolutely send the altcoin market because a lot of altcoins and the questionability about securities and all this is tied into that lawsuit. So that's something we have to keep on our horizon. But knowing that the ETH ETF is coming up, we see here on the BitLab trading stack, we had a, the sell-off that followed Bitcoin right here. High selling volume, which is purple, but then we get stopping volume immediately and the price recovers and goes to a new high of this range. And on the pullback where we're at now, we're holding support above this dynamic support zone right in here. If we get out to the four hour, let's see what it looks like here. We have positive money flow. We, look, finding support here on the 20 moving average and EMA ribbon right in here. We have, the, there's a lot of bullish safety above this 3,600 mark because this is where the VWAP is. Once we lose below that, uh, and it's not just a flush out like this, this may come down and start a downtrend. But as it stands right now, this is looking very bullish. This is a very bearish attempt that the bull said, you are out of your damn mind and now we formed a new high here. So this is quite bullish. I am very excited about what's going on in this market right now. We see CeeLo, which we've been talking about on the channel. Had this move to the upside, kind of fake out, comes back down, test. Look at this. And it looks like it may be trying to form a little bit of inverted head and shoulders. We also have Matic, Matic, which, uh, you know, has been rising. This is a, a little bit more concerning because we have this trend line right in here. Uh, bounce, 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 bounce. We lost it. And it looked like it was trying to potentially confirm the breakdown and move down. But this has moved above this trend line, found some support, and it's looking like it's trying to complete this uh, move to the upside and, and basically invalidate this deviation to the downside near, uh, by the way, I have to bring this up. My bad. Uh, this is such good news. Grayscale unveils new staking fund with C, uh, C Beth dot SEI soul, all these, I mean, so much uh, in here and nears, nears involved with it. Osmos, osmosis, uh, polka dot. I really like, I'm going to be talking about polka dot a lot more because I like a lot of what they're doing. SEI, you know, we're seeing this in the charts right now. As well, we see near. Look at this included in a fund with grayscale. It's big news, and this took a move from this dip right here. That is a that is a sixty percent move, fifty eight percent move. And some people sold here. How do I know some people sold here? Because the wick goes down there. In order for the price to go to any level, if you're buying, the per, you have to buy it from somebody that is selling. So somebody bought here and it reversed and somebody sold here and it reversed. Do not be those guys. Again, I've asked you guys and guys and gals before, if you've ever bought a top or sold a bottom, throw a one in chat right now. Every single one of us has done it. Our job is to get back on the path to profits and stop tuning into our damn emotions. Your emotions are irrelevant in this market. This market is designed to eat you alive. It's about strategy. And so look at this volume coming in here. This is incredible. We look at this on the daily. Look at this breaking out of this little bit of uh, inverted head and shoulders here. We had a W pattern. It was all signs here were showing to bullish, uh, a bullish reversal back into a continuation. Now, what we see here, option T come across right here. We have a bit of a, you know, 
neckline here that we absolutely have sliced through. So let's watch to see when we do start to get a pullback where it comes to. And I'd like to see, even if we pull back from here, that we hold above basically 450. Okay. Now, when we see uh, Arrow also had a pretty big move, uh, we come down to the two hour, for instance. We had uh, boom right here. We're at a key juncture right now in Arrow, Aerodrome Finance. Uh, and this is the largest DEX, uh, it has 2.5x two two the TVL of every other DEX combined. And it's one of those new gems. Uh, Coinbase uh, Venture Fund uh, invested in this. Uh, the market bought, uh, to, to my knowledge. Uh, and this is built on the base layer and we see this, you know, basically break down from here and we're testing right at this level. If we can clear this, we may be on for another run link link is, uh, basically kind of stagnating a little bit here and look at, look at how I drew this back here. I didn't, I haven't looked at this chart since then. And we see this move. This did not do that. This very similar structure. It only bounced here and then moved to the upside. Now we have to watch because we came down and we tested this zone again. This is why it's so good to draw levels. Why is that level there? A high on the bottom side, high on the top side, bounce on the bottom side. So we have this box formed. We bounce on the top of it. Look, now we bounced on the bottom of it. We're coming back up. So we're gonna to wanna to watch, keep our eyes on this uh, because link is not something you should sleep on. It's going to be boring at times. It traded sideways for 530 days. And then it exploded higher and left, uh, led the, that sort of altcoin run. Uh, Quant, interestingly, let's actually come out of this chart. Come over here. Uh, come down to Quant. Uh, Quant, interestingly, this is where we bought. Remember, I bought February 7th. And we see chopped around this. We added some to the position in, in this region here. Found support, boom, up. And loses, look at this, loses on the BitLab trading stack, loses a trend signal line right here comes down and finds now tipped all the way down to 104, $105 comes back up and is now trying to struggle to get through this VWAP. If we can get back above 125, which is where the volume weighted average price is, it sort of, I think of it as an institutional marker for below it. And we're testing against it and, and trending. Down, that's going to be very bearish trend. Once we clear this, look for a retest of it and then a continuation of the upside. So, and the VWAP, look, see, it's, it's rolling back over, trying to head back down. So we may, we're going to want to keep an eye on this. Uh, Tia, Celestia, trending down. Remember, this is one of those ones I got. People ask me why I didn't put a lot more into it. Because I look at the trend, even though the broader market trend was very bullish, this had already been running and this is rounding, rounding top. The chart is trying to tell you what it's trying to do. And so why didn't I buy more in here to catch the upside? Because this didn't look like it was ready for it. This moved up. We have steep, more angled, more angled, smaller and smaller momentum each step of the way. And now what I'm really looking for here is if we get a break below this level right here, because if that happens, we may end up getting a break and, and actually moving much lower. As it stands right now, the market is generally bullish. And if things do start ripping, I expect that this can maybe round out, form a little bit of a base and then start working its way back up. Render. Look at that. It, it cleared that level that we were talking about. If I come back over here, we can see right here. This is that level. Uh, two hour. This is a level. And this, this just happened while, you know, in the last, uh, in the last hour or two. Uh, the previous range high. This has jumped right through it. We have the, the momentum wave rotated out. We have a lot of bullishness on the BitLab uh, dashboard right here. We have uh, high buying pressure. Why do I say that? Because these momentum waves, it's not just momentum. You see there's a lot of selling pressure here. It's why they're red. A lot of buying pressure here, which is why they're green. Stochastics angled up. Money flow angled up. Um, high volume. That's on the two hour. What's it looking like on the 24 minute? Okay. Money flow flip positive. Stochastics and the RSI look like there may be a little bit of a cooling. Why? Because they're rounding. Okay. Now, if we come over here, turn on the BitLab volume, turn on the BitLab intelligence. By the way, these indicators, I'm going to share it with you guys uh, here on the stream. We have on bitlabacademy.com. You can come up here to the top of the page, and if it loads, it will load. Come on. There we go. You can sign up right here, but I'm going to give you a much better deal. If you go to lab.bitlabacademy.com, I'm going to type it in, sign up free here for dis Discord. Uh, dis. It's, uh, let me copy this lab.bitlabacademy.com forward slash Josh. 
That gives you 30 days free to sign up for the, uh, I'm just going to do free sign up. Here we go. Free sign up. Uh, and this is just for the Discord. But if you sign up, it's 30 days free. The second you sign up, you get an op opportunity to upgrade to get the indicators and the courses. And it's the, it's the lowest price we've ever offered for those indicators. So take advantage of it. I think I'm going to discontinue that sale once we break, once we actually move past all-time high. So it's lab.bitlabacademy.com. And by the way, in the Discord today uh, at 4 p.m., I believe, up here at the top where it says event, see, one event, uh, Joshua, Jake, and I are doing, a, a, we're talking about some bull market volatility, playing it the emotions, some of the strategy, and some, some new altcoin gems. So uh, to get involved with this. If you guys sign up now, you can, you can participate in this. And it's a free sign-up, lab.bitlabacademy.com. It's a free trial sign-up, I should say. Now, before we go, uh, let's go ahead and look at Filecoin. Look at this nice cup and handle here, uh, the target out of this guy. And look at what we're talking about before, this VWAP on the BitLab Intelligence, part of the BitLab trading stack. You have this, you have the volume here that has the order blocks which are these red and green blocks above and below showing liquidity interest zones. And then of course the volume profile, how much volume was traded at each individual price, price action. Look, testing the VWAP still bearish testing the VWAP. Let's clear this and then clear this zone right here, which is also represented by this order block. And then we'll likely be off to the races money flow flip positive. This is on the 24 minute chart, but the target on this, Target on this, and we talk about all this in the BitLab Academy as well. The target on this is past this previous range high up here to $37. No, it's 37%. What are we talking about? <laughs> why is this not, uh, why is this a percentage? Oh, you know why? Because I got the damn Netflix on here. There we go. So this was, I was going to say $37. I was like, something's wrong here. So the target on this would be up here at $11, eleven dollars eleven twenty five. Uh, on this on this breakout attempt to the downside higher low higher low we have the VWAP right here let's clear this clear this and I think we're going to slightly uh, moving back to the races now I love you guys I appreciate you guys I want it's my birthday week I'm going to be 40 this Saturday let's see I can't see the totals what is the total number of uh, 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 likes we only got 120 likes well big love I appreciate all 120 of you that participate in the things that you watch uh, you know, because we do broadcast this for free for all of you. Uh, I'm honored that every one of you's tuned in. I appreciate you. Uh, make sure you check out that link. I pinned it to the top. Uh, did, no, I did not. It's in the live chat. I'm pinning it to the top right now. It is live. It's, it's lab.bitlabacademy.com forward slash Josh. Lab.bitlabacademy.com forward slash Josh. And it takes you to this beautiful page right here. A second you sign up here, you get the opportunity to upgrade and get those indicators at the best price, and it, you get locked in at that lower price. Uh, so take advantage of it while you can, because it's, it's, I think it's more than a 50% discount. I uh, love you guys. I appreciate you. I got to go jump in something else, and I'll see the BitLab members. See you in the Discord live stream a little bit. Everybody, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Ding the bell. This market is ripping. Thank you for being here. I love you. Adios. Bitcoin. Oh, oh, cool. Pump. Pump. I've been prepared for this. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Bitcoin. Pump. Pump. All coins. Pump. Pump. I've been prepared for this. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Bitcoin. Pump. Pump. All coins. Pump. Pump. I've been prepared for this. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Bitcoin. Pump. Pump. All coins. Pump. Pump. I've been prepared for this. Can't nobody tell me nothing. SEC and its policies rely on whatever Gary thinks. Bitcoin to flight the quality. I heard that from Larry Fink. Every hour losing purchasing power on food and shelter. It's not our fault. Blame the cult. It's the political cowards. When it comes to gas, I purchase and power just got cut in half. I sit back and laugh, open my bag, fill it with stacks and sacks. Bitcoin, pump, all coins, pump. I've been prepared for this. Can't tell me nothing. And I believe crypto will play that type of role as a flight to quality. We're hearing from clients around the world. Bitcoin, pump, all coins, pump. I've been prepared for this. And I believe crypto will play that type of role. Bitcoin, pump, all coins, pump. We're hearing from clients around the world. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Crypto, depending on how you think about it, and I believe crypto will play that type of role as a. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Bitcoin, pump. We're hearing from clients around the world. That 
track, our intro and outro track is from Crypto Corey. You can find him at Ordinal Corey. Legit. You can listen to the full track right here. It is incredible. Big shout out to him. I appreciate you, Crypto Corey, for letting us uh, take a cut of that and put it on our intro and exit. I love you guys. Everybody hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Ding the bell. And I will see you guys in the next stream. Adios. Bitcoin. Oh, oh, coins. Oh, oh. I've been preparing for this. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Bitcoin.